gonna start drawing the lid of the teapot. So bring your drawing to southwest isometric and make sure to work on parallel projection and turn on your dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and dynamic UCS. I'm gonna draw a line from this midpoint up to this point, which has a distance of 2.2, and start the drawing from this origin. So type L for line command, and specify first point, enter 0, comma 0, comma 17.6. And bring your drawing upward for 2.2 units. Draw two circles. And the first one has 7.1 diameter, which is from this point up to this point. And the second one is 12.3. So type C for circle command. Click this endpoint as your center. Type D for diameter option and enter 7.1. Right click to repeat circle. Click this endpoint. Type D for diameter option enter and enter 12.3 go to the ribbon and select loft command and click these two circles enter twice draw another circle so type C for circle command, specify center point, which is this blue circle on the face. Type D for diameter option and enter 11.4. So 11.4. And by the way, the unit we're using is in centimeters. Now select that circle and extrude this one downward for one unit now I'm gonna combine these two objects by choosing union command from the ribbon click this one and this object to combine I'll go to solid and select shell command from the ribbon Click this object, don't click yet, go down to the command prompt, select add option, and select remove op option to remove this face. Right click to enter, and then enter the value of 0.4, which is the thickness of this uh, shell shown here. So enter 0.4, enter twice. Now I'm going to draw this part here. So I'm going to draw another circle, which is this one also here. And it has a value of 2.5 or diameter of 2.5, so circle. Look at center. And as you can see, that uh, blue circle is there. Type D for diameter option and enter 2.5. I extrude this circle for one unit as shown here from this point to this point. Now go back to the ribbon and click this drop down arrow and select sphere and click that center there and just click that quadrant. Uh, the diameter of this one is also 2.5. Now move this one upward for about one centimeter. So enter one and enter. Now I'm gonna combine all these objects. So click this one, this object and this object. Now I'm gonna apply fillet 
So go to solid and select fillet edge. Go down to the command prompt and click radius option. Now I'm going to choose um, 0.3 for radius. And select this one here. And then this one. And enter twice. Repeat fillet edge. Radius again. And select. I think the radius of this is 3, so enter 3 and select this edge and enter twice again. Yeah, it's 3 shown here. Now fillet edge again, click radius option and enter point 1 for this edge. And where else? Enter twice. I think this one here. Just gonna check. Radius. I think this one is also point one. And this one inside is also point one. All right. So select fillet edge. Click radius option, enter, and click this uh, edge here and the one inside, and enter twice. Now we're done with this, but uh, I'm going to apply material first. So type in materials. Copy global by right clicking and select duplicate. And then I'm just going to rename this as teapot. Click this uh, pencil icon and click image. I'm going to choose this one that I've saved on my desktop, which is yellow pot print. Open. You can choose on the internet whatever prints you want. Like in this case, I use Chinese uh, prints. And then click this one to change the value of the width and the height. I'm just going to change this to 10, enter, and then close this one, use teapot, and then just drop it here, it looks okay. I'm going to change the color for this thing inside, so just click global or I'm going to choose from the ceramics, maybe ivory. So click this uh, arrow here to bring these materials up here and then drag this one and then press your control key and drop it here. Again, control key and drop it here and this side here. Drag this one, press your control key and drop it here. Now we're done with the first portion. From center to end point, make sure you are working on XY plane. If not, go to the coordinates panel, click this drop down arrow and select this square here. And then select sweep command from the ribbon. Click this object, right click, enter, and select the path. I'm going to check. I'm going to adjust. So move. Just going to turn off this one first. And maybe rotate. think that's better. I'm going to bring this to wireframe and then create another guide using lines. So type L for line command and from the endpoint here 
inter turn this on first inter 11.7 and bring it down for 13 and move to your right and click that intersection I'm gonna use spline from this endpoint click here click somewhere here and maybe this endpoint here I'm just gonna move this downward a bit and then click this um, arrow here and select control vertices I'm just gonna adjust my curve maybe this one a bit here there you go now I'm gonna draw three circles 2.5 or maybe we can use this one here 2.5 3 and 6.6 uh, .6. so type C for circle command and click that uh, in point and enter D for diameter option and enter 2.5 <laughs> Right click to repeat circle and draw a circle somewhere here in the middle. Type D for diameter option, enter 3. Another circle from this in point. Type D for diameter option, enter 6.6. .6. Now I'm gonna isolate these uh, three circles, including the path. Right click, hover over isolate and select isolate objects. Now I can concentrate on this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is use 3D rotate and turn this around. Hover over the blue circle and move it. See that green dash line click there I'm just gonna check bring this back to front view now I'm gonna use uh, 3d rotate again click the center and make sure you turn this off first and make sure your circle is kind of perpendicular to the curb there you go and then do the same on this one now I'm gonna bring this downward so hover over that uh, red circle and turn it uh, okay, wait. downward for turn this on here again there you go we check yeah kind of perpendicular the center is kind of perpendicular to this uh, curve here and this one I'm gonna turn this one this way hover over and once it turns gold just move your cursor see that green dash line now let me check yeah this kind of this is kind of perpendicular to this one here this little curve now I'm gonna use uh, loft command from the ribbon click these three circles enter and select path and select this path here shaded with edges it looks okay now I'm gonna bring back the isolated objects so hover over isolate and select an object isolation I'm gonna bring this to front view I'm gonna move this one this is kind of trial and error thing okay move I'm gonna turn this one off again move that looks okay I'm gonna 
cut this one or slice. So go to solid, select slice command. And from quadrant here, move it like a little bit upward. It's up to you. 35 degrees or maybe 40 degrees. And then select this side. Maybe move a little bit. What you can do is um, use press pull command. I'm just going to press pull this one for about 5 maybe. Alright. And bring this back to front view. Move this one. I think that's better or a little bit upward there you go I think that's good I'm gonna hide this one again so click the object hover over isolate and select hide object okay now I'm gonna combine these two this one the spout and the body and I'm not gonna include this one because I don't want to create a hole inside when I do shell so combine these two. Oh, first, I'm going to copy this one because I'm going to use this body to cut the, see that edge there? I'm going to show you. X-ray. Okay, see this one here sticking in? I'm going to use this, the copy of this to cut this portion here to make it clean. So, okay, bring this back to front view. I'm going to copy this body, copy selection, and from center, and paste it back to center, and then enter. What I'm going to do now, just going to bring this back to shaded with edges. I'm going to union the spout and the body, enter, now this is one object, and I'm going to click the other one, the one that I'm going to use to cut the handle. I'm just going to hide it. Alright. You shell command inside solid editing panel. Wait, I'm going to check the thickness for that first, which is 0.2. So shell command from the ribbon. Click the object. Don't click yet. Go down to the command prompt and click add option. And select remove to remove the face and then uh, this face here enter and select the value of 0.2 for the thickness and enter again now see that thingy sticking out so what I'm gonna do is bring back the body that I hid so hover over isolate and select an object isolation I'm gonna hide this one again all right so select subtract command from the ribbon click this object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to remove to cut the in this case this 3d solid here there you go see this one it's clean now inside now it's time to union this object and this object. I'm gonna remove these guides, delete, now for the bottom I'm gonna use press pull command, I'm gonna check first the height for that which is 1 so use press pull command, hover over here, and then left click, bring it down for one unit. And draw a circle, and I'm just going to turn this on first. Circle, What? see that blue color on the face, and then type D for the empty option and enter 8. 
Now I'm gonna check first the height linear from this point up to this point is 0 0.7 so I'm gonna use press pull command again so press pull hover over the center left click and bring it up for 0 0.7 to create the indentation I think the body is done now the next thing to do is to apply fillet Let's start from here. So go to solid, select fillet edge, select radius option, and then enter 0.5. Select chain and select this edge here. Enter twice. And for this one here also, it's 0.5. Right click to repeat uh, fillet edge radius. And um, it remembers the last value we gave. So it's 0.5. Enter. Select chain. And then click this um, edge here. Enter twice. Repeat fillet edge. Chain. Select this one here, enter twice. I'm going to check realistic here. It looks okay. And then for here, for this edge here, the fillet value is 0 0.1. So fillet edge again. Go down to the command prompt. Enter point one. Enter and select chain option. Click this one here and click this one here. Enter twice. And for this one here, I'm going to use uh, point one instead of point two. Fillet edge radius and accept point one. Select chain, click this one, and click this one inside, enter twice. And for the bottom, it's point three, so fill it edge again, radius, enter point three, enter. And then click this one here, this here, enter twice. I think for the inside too, fillet edge, this one here, and this one here, enter twice. And maybe you can do this one too. I'm just going to use uh, point 0.2 for here. Enter twice. I don't need that anymore. All right. Now I'm going to bring back the hidden object. So just right click anywhere, hover over isolate, and select an object isolation. I'm going to type materials. I'm going to maximize this one. So just drag this one. I'm going to bring this upward. Move for about 10 units. Change the color inside. I'm going to use this one. So drag this one and then press the control key, then drop it in inside. 
there's another one so this one drag press control keep contr keep pressing and then drop there's another one here control key keep pressing then let go this one here inside drag control key keep pressing let go let me check there is another one here drag press control key keep pressing then drop and the bottom one same process drop and maybe for this side too I'm gonna close this one I'm gonna bring this back move for about 10 units I'm just gonna move the whole thing and erase these unwanted objects I think we are done thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for notification and see you again for the next tutorial bye